ज्ञानम परमम ध्येयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम friends let us summarize what we have learned in the last lecture so we have learned how to if there is a heterogeneous catalytic reaction we have learned how to deduce the rate law from experimental data deduce the rate law we have learned the second step how to find mechanism how to find the mechanism behind a certain catalytic reaction and we have found the for a particular example we found the rate parameters we found the rate parameters and and then we initiated discussion on how to design a reactor in particular we considered the example of hydro demethylation of toluene on solid mineral catalyst containing a certain material called clinoptilolite and we looked at the experimental data for that particular reaction and then we tried to deduce the mechanism and tried to estimate the rate parameters we found that for the toluene reacting with the hydrogen leading to benzene and methane formation so for that reaction we deduce that the rate of the reaction can be represented as the rate of consumption of the uh, toluene can be written as some rate constant k multiplied by the partial pressure of hydrogen multiplied by the partial pressure of toluene divided by 1 plus the adsorption constant for toluene multiplied by the partial pressure of toluene plus the adsorption constant for benzene multiplied by the partial pressure of benzene okay so then we use the experimental data in order to perform a linear regression analysis and estimate these parameters k estimate the parameters k estimate the parameter kt and also kb from experimental data then we initiate a discussion on the uh, design of a reactor using this rate law so while designing the reactor we wrote a mole balance and found what is the balance equation that represents the that captures the conversion in the reactor as a function of the weight of the catalyst and so that turned out to be dx by dw x is the conversion and w is the weight of the catalyst in the reactor equal to minus rt prime divided by ft0 where minus rt prime is the rate at which toluene is actually being consumed in the reaction and also ft0 is the initial feed molar rate of uh, toluene species which is participating in the reaction and we also found that the partial pressure of toluene can actually be expressed as the partial pressure of toluene at the inlet pt0 multiplied by 1 minus the conversion into y which is the mole fraction and similarly for the partial pressure of hydrogen which is expressed as pt0 into the feed ratio of hydrogen to toluene minus the conversion into the mole fraction and for benzene it will be pt0 into x into y okay. so we'll continue from there today and so the first the first exercise is to find out what is this expression for what is y that is what is the mole fraction and that can be obtained what is the relationship of mole fraction and the and the other and the conversion inside the reactor and that can actually be expressed found out using the differential form of ergon equation differential form of ergon equation 
and which is which can be written as dy by dw that is equal to minus alpha by 2y multiplied by 1 plus epsilon x into t by t naught where alpha is the pressure drop parameter alpha is the pressure drop parameter epsilon is the epsilon is the total fractional change in the number of moles and x is the conversion and t is the temperature at that location and t naught is the inlet temperature if we assume that it is isothermal conditions then t by t naught is equal to 1 if we assume that it is a isothermal if the, the reactor is actually the reaction is conducted under isothermal conditions then the temperature in the reactor is same as the inlet temperature of the of the fluid stream and therefore t by t naught will be equal to 1 and for the chosen reaction the epsilon which is the total change in the number of moles because of the reaction is equal to 0 because the net stoichiometric coefficient is 0 and from here we can solve the differential ergon equation and obtain the expression for y as a function of the other parameters which is p by p naught equal to 1 minus alpha times w to the power of half where alpha is the pressure drop parameter and w is the weight of the catalyst. So, the mole fraction at any location in the reactor will now depend upon how much catalyst is present till that location and the corresponding pressure drop parameter. So, now we can actually plug this into the model equation and then we can attempt to find out what is the conversion as a function of the weight of the catalyst. So, therefore, the partial pressure of toluene is now given by P T 0 which is the total partial pressure of toluene at the inlet multiplied by 1 minus x which is the conversion into 1 minus alpha w to the power of half and similarly that of partial pressure of hydrogen is given by P T 0 into uh, 1 theta H 2 which is the feed ratio of hydrogen versus toluene minus the conversion into 1 minus alpha w to the power of half and, so, and the partial pressure of benzene is given by P T 0 into conversion into 1 minus alpha w to the power of half. So, now we have all the information that we need to solve the equation and so let us look at how to let us put them all together. So, the model equation that relates the conversion with the with the weight of the catalyst is given by F T 0 multiplied by D x by D w that is equal to minus R T prime which is the rate of generation of toluene and we know from the rate mechanism that the rate of generation is given by K into partial pressure of hydrogen into partial pressure of toluene divided by 1 plus K B into partial pressure of benzene plus k t into partial pressure of toluene. So, now what we need to know is what are the limits of the integration we know what is we know the expressions for uh, partial pressure of hydrogen in terms of conversion we know the uh, expression for partial pressure of toluene in terms of conversion and we know the expression for partial pressure of benzene in terms of conversion. Now, once we know this in order to integrate the only piece of information that is required is what is the total weight of the catalyst in the reactor weight of the catalyst in the reactor. Now, why we need this because we need to in order to integrate this expression here in order to integrate the expression which is present here we need to know what are the limits for the limits for w which is the weight of the catalyst. So, of course, at, at, the, at the inlet at the inlet the weight of the catalyst is 0, but at the outlet let us assume that there is w is given by some maximum weight of the catalyst. Okay. Now, how do we find this maximum weight of the catalyst? So, we know the expression for the mole fraction as a function of the weight of the catalyst. So, what we can do is suppose if we assume that the reactor the, the, the fluid stream exits the reactor at atmospheric pressure. So, suppose the pressure at which the fluid stream leaves the reactor is 1 atmosphere, then we will be able to estimate what is the maximum weight because we know the relationship between the mole fraction y which is p by p naught that is equal to 1 minus alpha times w to the power of half. 
So, from this expression we can now substitute the pressure at the exit of the reactor and find out what is the weight of the catalyst in terms of the other parameters. So, therefore, 1 by P naught equal to 1 minus alpha W max to the power of half. So, this means that the maximum weight of the catalyst if the pressure at the outlet is 1 atmosphere that will be equal to 1 by alpha into 1 plus 1 by P naught whole square. So, so, now we have all the required information in order to integrate the model equation. So, let us look at let us put them all together. So, we need to solve we need to solve this equation F T naught into T x by D w equal to minus R T prime with the rate of the equation being rate of uh, the generation of species toluene being k into partial pressure of hydrogen partial pressure of toluene divided by 1 plus the equilibrium constant for b benzene multiplied by the partial pressure of benzene plus the equilibrium constant of toluene multiplied by the partial pressure of toluene. And we know that partial pressure of hydrogen is equal to P t naught into theta h 2 minus x into 1 minus alpha w to the power of half. And then the partial pressure of benzene is given by the inlet partial pressure of toluene multiplied by the conversion into 1 minus alpha w to the power of half. And the partial pressure of toluene is given by P t 0 into 1 minus x into 1 minus alpha w to the power of half. And the maximum weight of the catalyst is given by 1 by alpha into 1 plus 1 by p 0 to the power of 2. Okay. So, this gives you the this captures the model equations and all the others necessary relationship between the partial pressures and the conversion in order to find the conversion as a function of the weight of the catalyst. So, remember that the weight of the catalyst at the inlet of the reactor is 0 and at the outlet of the reactor is the maximum weight that, that can be packed maximum catalyst that can be packed inside the reactor. So, let us look at how the solution is going to look like. So, so if we have the numbers and if we have the quantities all the required quantities then in principle we should be able to integrate this expression and find the profile of conversion as a function of weight of the catalyst. So, let me just sketch here I will sketch the profile of the conversion as a function of weight of the catalyst. Okay. So, suppose in the x axis I have the weight of the catalyst going from 0 to the maximum weight. So, remember that the maximum weight is given by 1 by alpha into 1 plus 1 by p naught the whole square. And if I plot x which is the conversion, then the conversion as you go into the reactor as the fluid stream sees more catalyst you see that there is an increase in the uh, conversion as a function of the weight of the catalyst. While if you look at the pressure drop inside the, the mole fraction inside the reactor the mole fraction y the overall mole fraction y actually goes down. So, this is y equal to p by p naught. So, that actually goes down because the reaction is being reaction is being conducted and the and the reaction is happening as the as the fluid stream goes through the reactor. We can we can actually get much more information than this. So, we can actually look at the how the partial pressure changes with the with the weight of the catalyst. So, if I plot that is the maximum weight of the catalyst that is the exit of the reactor. So, this is the inlet stream and this is the outlet stream that is the outside location of the reactor. And so, if I plot the partial pressures of toluene, partial pressure of hydrogen and partial pressure of benzene for a typical set of parameters we will see that the partial pressure of hydrogen has a profile which looks like this. And then we have a, a toluene partial pressure which actually decreases because toluene is being consumed. And then the benzene partial pressure this is the kind of profile that is observed. Now, the reason for so this is for this is the partial pressure for hydrogen, partial pressure for toluene and the partial pressure of benzene. 
Now the reason why the partial pressure of benzene goes through a maxima is because we said that the outside uh, pressure is the pressure of at which the stream leaves the reactor is one atmosphere and so there is clearly a pressure drop and there and the pressure drop actually causes the partial pressure of benzene to go through a maximum and then uh, towards the exit of the reactor it starts falling down. Okay. So this sort of captures systematically the method for designing a reactor starting from experimental data. So, let us look at a, what happens if the if we conduct a reaction in a fluidized CSTR. So, suppose if we take a fluidized CSTR. So, CSTR is essentially a tank and there is a feed that goes into the CSTR and it is well mixed and there is a fixed volume and there is an outlet stream. Generally for a fluidized bed the inlet is at the bottom and exit at the top. Just for sake of convenience we have assumed other way here. So the question is how much catalyst weight, weight of the catalyst or how much catalyst that needs to be packed which which directly correlates to the volume of the reactor. So, how much catalyst has to be packed inside the CSTR in order to obtain the same conversion. So, if F T naught is the molar flow rate of toluene at the inlet at the inlet stream of the CSTR and F T is the molar flow rate at which the uh, toluene leaves the reactor, then a simple mass balance can be mole balance can be written in order to estimate the amount of catalyst which is required for obtaining the same conversion in a fluidized CSTR. So, the simple mass ba mole balance just that the rate at which the stream enters the reactor minus the rate at which things leave plus the generation should be equal to the accumulation. So, now what the, the rate at which moles enter the CSTR is given by F T naught for toluene minus the rate at which it leaves is F T plus the rate at which it is generated is given by R T prime which is basically the moles of toluene consumed per gram of catalyst per unit time multiplied by the weight of the catalyst and that should be equal to 0 if it is a steady state. Okay. So, we can now rewrite this equation and we can say that the weight of the catalyst is given by F T 0 minus F T divided by minus R T prime. So, from here we know that F T which is the rate molar rate at which the molar flow rate at which the species leaves the reactor is related to the conversion because F t is given by F t naught into 1 minus x. So, therefore, we can rewrite this expression as F t naught into x divided by minus R t prime. So, if we so, if we know what is the conversion in the pack bed reactor then we should be able to use that conversion and if it is under the same condition that is the same flow rate molar flow rate at which the species enters the CSTR then we will be able to estimate what is the weight at which the same conversion can be obtained if you use a fluidized CSTR and this provides an important parameter in terms of designing the reactor.